What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we are looking at the brand new Sonic the Hedgehog Tails RC Vehicle Toy. So I reviewed these about a year ago. I want to say I reviewed the Sonic and Shadow one in the same video. But this time we are looking at the Tails one. And unfortunately mine isn't fully strapped in the package in here. Hopefully it's not damaged and hopefully it works too. That would suck if it didn't because... That actually happened with the shadow one, but the controller seems fine there. Alright, so starting with the front of the packaging, so we can see the tails in his uh, vehicle and then the uh, controller right there to the side. But we also get like this Sonic artwork right here with the logo and then it does show like your warnings and then like, you know, like how long. Well, actually right here it does say like how long uh, it, it goes when you um, use it with the RC. Or, or the controller really but it is six plus and then of course you can scan for a video but at the top right here uh you know you just get like a top view as you can see the tails did just move because like i said it's not fully in the packaging right there or it's not like really strapped in but we got the logo the bottom right here just got some more information which i think it's actually upside down really or the, the other way really but on this side right here, we can see uh, just a picture of the tails and then uh, the controller right there. And on the other side, we just get a picture of Sonic right there and then the logo up top. And then coming to the back right here, we can see the tails and then the Sonic and Shadow one that I reviewed. Uh, and then we got tails and then we also got a bar read right there, which is really cool. And then the logo and then some more information right there. So yeah. That is the packaging right there. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and crack this out of the packaging and take a closer look. All right, so here it is out of the packaging right here. Now, before we take a closer look at that, let's actually look at the controller really fast. So it is very similar to the Sonic and Shadow one. Of course, it is yellow for tails, but we are getting, you know, basically the same thing really. We got the, you know, the buttons for up and down. Uh, left and right and then the boost button to make it go faster and then of course the on and off switch but at the back uh, of course you know that's where you will put your AA batteries now these do take only AA batteries uh, it requires about five they aren't included so yeah just keep that one in mind but the controller is the same thing of course uh, in order for it to work you got to turn this on and then you got to turn the vehicle on uh, because if you only turn this one on uh, it is just gonna start blinking if you can see that so yeah so let me just turn this off now onto the vehicle now the thing about these is that uh you know they don't always uh the figure itself like the figurine in the vehicle they're not always gonna look the best but this one doesn't look too bad the only thing is is that uh it's really just the torso you know the tail doesn't have like that poof on the side of the uh, fur for the torso and then it you know the torso and then the ears aren't as white as like the mouth is here but i think the head scope is okay i think it looks uh, a bit better than uh sonic and shadow that's why i thought they looked a little weird but this one doesn't look too bad but you can see tails is on the steering wheel there is no articulation with these uh the only thing that you're kind of moving a little bit is really just the arms so they're very similar to Sonic and Shadow really. But the vehicle itself actually looks pretty nice. Uh, the lights is gonna come through of course the front and then uh, actually I think it's only just the front. I believe it's only the front. I think Sonic had one where he had actual lights to the front and in the back of his vehicle. But for Tails it's really just gonna be the front. But you can see how this actually looks. It uh, looks pretty nice actually, you know? Uh, I think more paint would have been better but I think it's okay for what it is you know uh, it's just a small little uh, like oh yeah it's just like a small little vehicle toy um, and then same thing you do get like this switch right here uh, you got left right here and then right if you can see that you got your on and off switch right there and yeah pretty much that uh, it is like really all plastic except the wheels the wheels are rubbery but before we actually test it out, let me actually compare it. So here it is Tails with uh, Sonic right here. So I still got these. Um, I think Sonic is probably still my favorite. Um, 
I think Sonic had sounds with his, I believe. It's been it's been too long since I reviewed this. But that is how Tails and Sonic is. And then here is Tails with Shadow right here. So you got that. Right? Alright. Now let's actually test this out. So let me actually put my camera just a little bit back. Alright, so let's actually turn everything on. So here is the controller. And then we're going to turn this on. And then now let's actually test it out. So I can press up. Whoa. Okay, that was actually fast. And then I can press back. I am going to mess things up, but uh, I can, of course, turn. Well, actually, let me do this. It's actually a little better angle. Uh, but, of course, I can turn the wheels. And then, of course, when I press that boost, that's when it <laughs> it's going to launch really fast, which uh, I don't want to do yet. I didn't want that. You know, it's um, it sucks because this wasn't my plan to review it like this. I actually did want it to take it outside. But, unfortunately, it's like raining right now. Uh, I'll probably do like a short video of that, uh, like another day when it's really nice out to fully show it out. But the good thing is, is that it works. I think that's all that matters. So I do like it. It's really, really fast. It works really well on a carpet as well. Um, if you want to test this out on the carpet, it does still work. You know, it doesn't like get stuck or anything. It's still really good. Hard surface is probably the best though. But I will try out the boost. Just this, uh... Let me actually, actually, yeah, all right. So uh, the boost, you you really just hold it. You hold it while you, uh, you know, you move it. So, so you can see, yeah, like it had no control right there. And then you can also see the lights uh, when I um, use a controller. Oh, my, my fingers run away, but yeah, so this is just painted. There's only lights to the front right here. All right, so the things that I do want to talk about here, so about this uh, left and right thing right here, uh, this is really just if you wanted to, uh, you know, like while you're uh, using the controller, if you wanted to just turn left, uh, like just slightly, this is basically what this is. Uh, the wheels do change just a little bit when you do that. So yeah, if you want to just have it like uh, drive to the left a little bit, that's when you will want to turn this to the left side. And if you want to do right, you do the same thing. See how the wheel kind of just turn right this time. So that's basically what this is for. And another thing I want to say is uh, just keep in mind that only the back wheels is moving. It's not the front wheels. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen that, but I'll try it again. Yeah, you see how the front wheel's not moving. And it's also funny because uh, if I hold it while doing that, it makes like this really like weird noise right here. So yeah, but uh, yeah, pretty much that. And then uh, as of, I don't know if I if I got that while I was reviewing the packaging. Uh, let me actually just look at the packaging right here. But as far as it goes, it does say about 100 and 150 feet, uh, depending on how long you, uh, how or how far this is from the controller. But it is about 100 and or yeah, 100 and 150 feet. So yeah, that's how far it goes. But that's pretty much that guys I mean I've always liked these you know I mean I've, I've always liked RC cars in general so having like Sonic ones was always really cool to just to have really I think I like these more than the pullback ones I, I feel like I've, I have a ton of pullback toys now I think the RC ones are definitely my favorite uh, especially when they work and they have like you know like lights um, but I think I do like the Sonic one I think the Sonic one was still probably my favorite really but this one isn't really too bad to me. You know, it's it's a different character, of course. But, 
yeah guys so that right there was the review of the tails rc vehicle so let me know what do you guys think about this i would love to know but thank you all so much for watching and i will definitely catch you guys in the next video take care my friends